Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what would be the best type of exercise or workouts to achieve fat loss and weight loss. So I've gotten this question quite often lately, maybe because I've been showing my exercise routine a little bit more, showing my exercise clips. A few different girls have asked me what would be the best type of exercise for fat loss and weight loss goals. Many different people have various different perspectives on this and different types of opinions. Um, so I can only strictly give to you my opinion on what would be the best types of exercises or workouts for fat loss from my experience, from working with clients and hearing what others have had to say. So it really does come down to having, in my opinion, a good various exercise routine. I truly don't believe that sticking with one type of workout will ultimately help you reach your goals. Unless you have a specific goal in mind, for example, like running a half marathon or doing a full marathon, then yes, you're going to want to specify your workout routine to focus pretty much only on running and maybe a bit of stretching or yoga. However, if your idea and your goals are to have a nice physique, a really good body, tight, toned, um, you have fat you want to lose, you, you just basically want to tone up and look leaner, then my opinion is that you really do need to have a mix of cardio and strength-based exercises. You really want to challenge your body in all ways possible. So you want to be working your cardiovascular system. You really want to be challenging your muscles for muscle growth, for toning up your body. You really want to work always possible to challenge your body and improve your body. So really ultimately, if you want to achieve fat loss and weight loss, I really do believe that you need to have um, a good workout routine, a really good schedule throughout the week, throughout the few weeks, throughout the month to really challenge your body in different ways. Now, I've stressed many times that I truly believe the best workout schedule would be incorporating cardio-based exercises as well as strength-based exercises. But on top of that, you also want to be doing various uh, duration of exercises. So you want maybe some that are maybe only 15 minutes long. You may want to go all the way to an hour long. Um, another thing you really want to pay attention to is the intensity of your exercises. It's really also important to have that variation of easy exercises, moderate type exercises, and intense based exercises. So again, you really want to give your body that different level of challenges. So you may also want to incorporate different types of workouts, which I think is also incredibly important to achieve a really good, healthy body. So you might want to include cycling. You might want to include running as cardio-based. You might want to include walking as a cardio-based. You might want to include Pilates, yoga, body weight, hit workouts, free weights, lifting in the gym, or a structured type of strength-based uh, exercise in the gym, maybe powerlifting, all of these can be included in strength-based exercises as well. So you really wanna be able to work your cardiovascular system and you really wanna be able to work your muscles and gain strength. All of these implemented into a workout routine, a workout schedule throughout your week will definitely contribute to weight loss and ultimately fat loss. It's really important to note that Although a really great structured, awesome workout routine is, um, is amazing for fat loss, but it's not the thing you need to be focusing on. You really, really want to focus on the food. What you're eating, how much you're eating, it's specifically the types of foods you're eating are more important to note, to focus on, rather than exercise for fat loss and weight loss. The types of foods you eat or you eat should be your number one priority. Pay attention to what you're eating. You want to be eating a whole foods, plant-based diet, rich in carbohydrates, lower in fat, lots of fruits and vegetables and starches to burn off that fat and implementing a good cardio and strength-based uh, routine throughout your week as exercise is incredible. So my opinion then is this. You need cardio-based exercises and you need strength-based exercises. However you split that up through the week will depend on your lifestyle and your schedule. I also highly suggest to implement easy workouts, 
moderate type exercises workouts and intense type exercise workouts. I also highly suggest to do various types of workouts and exercises. Like I said, choose from the long list of activities you can actually do. And you don't actually have to do exercises. You can do like sports types workouts as well, like surfing, um, tennis, basketball, baseball, volleyball, um, badminton, whatever floats your boat, whatever gets you really excited. Um, and then of course there's the regular types of cardio based, as I said, cycling, walking, running, power walking, skipping, jogging. And then you have your strength based type exercises, which, which work your muscle, which, which work all of your muscles. And it's great for sculpting and toning and ultimately building your muscles up as well. Pilates, yoga, um, body weight hit workouts, powerlifting, bodybuilding in the gym. Just get out there and lift some weights, move around your body, really challenge your muscles, challenge your cardiovascular system. All of these little changes and the things that you implement throughout your week, throughout your month, will ultimately then lead to fat loss and weight loss. But again, what's most important is your diet. So pay attention to your diet, implement these suggestions and tips I've had for you today. And I do really hope that you found maybe this helpful. And if you're someone who's very confused about should you do cardio, should you do strength, I highly suggest that you can try out both, but ultimately try out all sorts of different types of workouts, all sorts of different activities and find what truly feels good for your body, what you truly genuinely enjoy because that will take care of motivation. You will wake up every day excited to move your body because you will enjoy what you're doing. You will enjoy that movement. You will enjoy how you're feeling and the um, sensations that you get afterwards, that workout or exercise high you get afterwards. You will genuinely enjoy it. So that is also a, a very important thing I need to note for all of you today. Enjoy what you do. Don't push yourself to do something that you hate because there are so many different types of exercises and workouts and activities that anyone can do. So find what feels comfortable and, and slightly challenging on your body and something that you genuinely enjoy. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did hit the like button there, subscribe for more if you're new to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos and I will see you next time.